You have learned about powers of powers and that you multiply the exponents together. We used brackets around a power or powers with another power on the bracket to show this. This works with a single term but not an expression. Why? Let's find out. Let's quickly review what happens when you have a term containing exponents in brackets raised to an exponent. You multiply the exponent outside the brackets to every number and variable within the brackets. If you don't remember why or want more information, I suggest you review powers of powers. This is where the difference between terms and expressions is important. We are going to use the expression x plus y as our example that we work with. x plus y in brackets and the whole expression is squared. Now, you know that an exponent of 2 means the base is multiplied to itself. x squared is x multiplied by x. Same rule here. The expression in the brackets is your base. If a set of brackets is squared, then everything in those brackets is multiplied to itself. Let's apply this to our example. x plus y squared equals x plus y in brackets multiplied by x plus y. Now, using FOIL, we get x squared plus xy plus xy plus y squared. Combine the middle terms and you have x squared plus 2xy plus y squared. Now if we had just applied the exponent of 2 to the x and the y, we would have x squared plus y squared. You can see that we are missing the 2xy and therefore have the wrong answer. This is an easy mistake to make. So how do we know to use the power of a power rule and when to multiply an expression to itself? If you have a single term in the brackets, you will use the power of a power rule. If you have an expression, you will need to multiply the expression to itself the same number of times as your exponent. If you ever come across a problem and you aren't sure what to do, multiply the expression to itself. You will always get the correct answer this way it is just not as efficient as the power of a power rule. Here are some examples. We won't solve these all the way. Instead, you will just take them to the first step of multiplying the expressions to themselves the appropriate number of times. I'll do the first one. 3x plus 4 in brackets to the power of 3 is equal to 3x plus 4 in brackets multiplied to itself three times. Now, you try on these. We are not solving here, just taking the first step. Now hit pause. Write out your answers and when you are ready, press play. Good. Here are the answers. Take a moment to compare. You may have noticed that the last example was a single term. You could have actually applied the power rule here, but as we stated before, you will get the same answer either way with a single term. Feel free to hit pause if you need more time to go over the answers. In this lesson, you learned about working with expressions in brackets that have exponents. You learned that the power rule cannot be used on expressions. You multiply the expression inside the brackets to itself the same number of times as the value of the exponent 